Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be working on my Boston um, kind of dirty traveler's notebook. I have um, two intentions to do um, like traveling journaling. So with this notebook right here, this notebook is from um, My Paper Projects. Um, you can find her on Instagram and on Etsy. I'll link her shop below. Um, but what my plan for this notebook is to take it with me and obviously keep track of our days and do journaling on the right side of our day to kind of keep track. I don't think I'll be including any ephemera or photos in this notebook. This is just purely for journaling purposes so that when I get back home and I do my travel um, journal with the ephemera and the photos and all that other stuff, the traveler's notebook sessions that I normally do, um, I can look back on this and it'll have like all the necessarily journaling that I can transfer. So um, what I wanted to do though is I wanted to kind of pretty it up a little bit and that container that you see right there on the right hand side, that is from my um, dear friend and pen pal Michaela. Um, you can find her on Instagram at, at make memories today. She is from Germany and we've been pen I think we've been pen paling for three years now. I think close to three years now. So we're we're really good friends, and um, she is into the traveler's notebooks like I am, and she's also really into um, like mail art and stuff like that. So anyway, in my most recent package that I got from her yesterday, she sent me a ton. I'm talking a ton of ephemera and printed sheets. Um, or printed designs on sticker sheets that I could cut out myself and that entire um, iris case is just filled to the brim with beautiful beautiful things and I wanted to use some of that so I'm also using um, this stamp from waffle flower this is a weather stamp um, and I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough of my um, traveler's notebook setup that I'm gonna be taking to Boston with me um, and you'll, I'll explain all of the products that I'm taking with me. And um, so what I have on my desk is all the stuff that I plan on taking with me, including all the stamps that you see. So anyway, this weather stamp is from Waffle Flower. And you can see that there's a spot to write in weather information, but I also wanted to stamp that in there. Um, and here I've done some pre-planning. That's my pre-planning pamphlet that I've used. It's the day designer um, setup. So um, I just printed out the freebie that I got a couple years ago for seven days and I'm using that for um, pre-planning and I'm just referring to it now so that I can do some stamping in here I'm using the clearly Kelly travel stamp that I picked up at Michael's um, to write departure and arrival time I'm not a great stamper I really just don't care though so I'm, I'm just wanting to get this done so I'm just doing it for the first and for the eighth for when we are flying in and flying out of Boston to um, from Orlando to Boston and then from Boston back to Orlando and then I'm just using my um, stamp chamois from I think freckled fawn no not freckled fawn it's the other deer lawn fawn lawn fawn um, so I'm just using my stamp chamois to clean my stamps as I go to be a responsible stamp owner using the plane now and I wanted to kind of invert this image to make it look like the plane was taking off and to land and I just couldn't figure it out and I was panicked because the camera was running so I just um, said screw it and I moved along so um, yeah like I said I am gonna be filming a video of my um, travel setup for the notebook that I'm gonna be taking um, for, uh, to Boston with me I had already filmed it and I was actually intending on including this video at the end of that video um, but this ended up being like 23 minutes long me just doing this and I just could not include that at the back of um, even with it sped up times two I just couldn't include it in the back of another 10 minute video so I dec decided to make this separate and um, just have it be a kind of process video for how I decided to decorate really quickly this little notebook now those rub-ons I picked up at Tuesday morning a year ago maybe and they still work like butter I'm telling you they're from the seven gypsies brand I think I have three different packs of three different designs and I've had them for a year they're probably a year old or more if they're at Tuesday morning 
and they still work great. I love them and I used an entire sheet uh, on this process. So that's really exciting. That card that you see is my uh, washi sample that I'll be taking to Boston with me. It's all my travel vintage -y type of um, washi. The bottom four, I believe, the last two that I have used are the Tim Holtz brand that I picked up from... I think everybody carries it. Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. I think they all three have that um, set, but I think I picked that up at Michael's for super cheap. Um, and then here, I'm just trying to peel this sticker off. You're gonna see me struggle with all of these. The The sticker paper is super fine. It's not like a thick super paper, uh, sticker paper, which I'm fine with. I love thinner stickers because the, the thinner they are, the less bulk they are. I love the quality of the sticker paper that she has used. All the stickers that you're gonna see me use, they are all from Michaela. The circles at the top that I've already taken out of my bin and me shuffling through my bin now, they're all from her. And God love that girl. I can't even tell you how much was in that package. It's gonna take me years to use all these stickers and I will keep begging her for more because they're just, I'm, I just love them. I love, um, I love that style. So um, just using some ink to stamp out travel log. This is also from a Clearly Kelly stamp. I don't know which one, it's just one of her travel ones. There it is right there. Um, I think I'm taking four stamp sets with me. All the stamp sets that you're gonna see in this video are all the ones, everything that you see, I'm taking with me to Boston. A minus the, obviously the ink pads and the stickers and stuff. I don't think I'll take any of that because I have some packed away that I wanna use already. I just wanted to use these because they were on my desk and I just love them so much and I'm so grateful that um, Michaela sent them to me. So I'm just using these rub-ons again, you can see. Um, they're gorgeous, obviously. They're of tickets, I think, like ticket stubs. Um, I just love this look, and um, I really wanted to use this entire sticker sheet. It was my goal to kind of use it, because I'm just terrified that they're going to go bad, and I'm not going to be able to use them. So I'm just using the back of my scissors to use this, because I had lost the popsicle in the mess of my desk after filming, like I said, that previous video. And I'm just going to use the mixture of these stickers, the washi sample that I'm taking with me, and these rub-ons because they're just so beautiful. So, um, yeah, I'm going to Boston. How exciting is that? I can't wait to go, you guys. I can't even tell you. I'm so excited. I'm such a history buff, and um, I'm going to be able to see fall. Like, I can't even tell you. And the temperatures are going to be in, like, the 50s, and I'm going to have to wear, like, a fleece and a scarf and tennis shoes like my feet aren't even gonna know what to do having to wear real shoes because this Florida weather down here you never have to wear anything but flip-flops if you don't want to and this washi right here is also from Michaela she did send me that washi I don't I, it's the it's a it's the brand that it was called was Twilight I've never heard of that brand before um, but I, I'm assuming maybe she had gotten it from AliExpress because she said that she likes to get things from AliExpress. And from what I understand, um, it's pretty cheap. I've never ordered from that site. I've gone to it a couple times and have loaded my cart up a couple times, but just have never pulled the trigger. Um, are you guys like that? Do you do that? Do you like when you online shop, you see something beautiful on Instagram, you go to the website, like the Etsy shop or the actual website, and you put it in your cart with all intentions to buy it, but then you never actually pull the trigger? That's me. Like every single day, that is me. Um, I just use that stamp set again, and it, it's um, transportation modes, plane, automobile, walking, bike, bus, stuff like that. So I figure that first day we'll be doing the Freedom Trail, so we'll probably be pretty busy that day. Another one of these girl stickers that she sent. How cute are they? God, love them so much. Um, so yeah, anyway, rambling so bad I'm going to struggle with this sticker again, but yeah, um... I'm totally like that. I am totally that girl who will just just order or not order. I'll try to order. I'll pretend to order. I'll dream about ordering all these beautiful things and never actually end up doing it. So, um, yeah, I have a problem. So I'm just using some more washi. I picked up this washi at a scrapbook convention, so I don't know the name of it. Um, a lot of the other ones, this orange one right here, I also got from that same convention, so I don't know... Um, but the, the, all the other ones, I think, are from Michael's. Um, 
I really like those a lot. So you can see I'm almost done with these rub-ons. How exciting is that? Like, can I get an amen? Seriously? Who among us has ever finished a sticker sheet or rub-on or for, for the sake of the video, a washi roll? Come on, like that never happens. So super excited I got that entire sheet um, used up because I really wanted to do that. So anyway, yeah, we're going to Boston. Um, I'll try to, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm going to try to post photos and stuff of the things that we do. If you're not following me, I'm at Skylar Hand. And um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe because I'll be doing um, more. I'll be doing an entire series of the Traveler's Notebook sessions on my um, Boston trip. Um, so here's a flip through of the pages and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for stopping in. Subscribe if you want to see more. Bye.